Hi, and welcome to another video of 17 facts. This is a part 2 of the crypto facts and it's about cryptocurrency mining. Stay tuned as we break down the mining process so you can understand it better. The rise of cryptocurrency popularity has enticed many people to obtain their own cryptos. Although you can always buy them at a crypto exchange, another possibility is to mine for them. However, if you decide to mine for cryptos, first you need to understand how the process works. The first thing to know is that the process is conducted by people known as crypto miners, the miners verify crypto transactions to ensure that the coin is legitimate and that it's not used twice for the same transaction, then these transactions are recorded in an online ledger. Not all cryptocurrencies can be mined. Mining was introduced by the first ever cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, based on the proof-of-work algorithm that rewards miners with coins as compensation for their work. When a miner verifies one megabyte of crypto transactions, they can earn coins, but verification in itself is not enough to earn a coin. After the transaction has been verified, the miner's computer has to be the first one to find the correct 64-digit hexadecimal number that's equal to or less than the target hash, a fixed-length number. The first miner to arrive at the correct answer is rewarded with a new crypto coin. However, in order to do this, miners need to have adequate computer software and additional computer equipment, enough electric power to support the mining process, and a strong internet connection. There are four basic steps in crypto mining. Number 1. Nodes are devices connected to a crypto network that receive an input and release a unique output. Nodes are what allows cryptocurrencies to be used as a decentralized digital currency. Number 2. Transactions are added on a list, from which blocks are formed. These blocks are connected in a chain, hence the name blockchain technology, which is the basis of crypto production. When one block of transactions is completed, it becomes attached to other blocks in the chain. Number 3. Adding hash data to the crypto mining software, so the computer can produce a fixed length number that will be identical or close in value to the 64 digit hexadecimal number. Number 4. Verifying hash value. Miners need to compare the hash value produced by their computer with all previous hashes to ensure that it doesn't match the hash of another block and the value is truly authentic. There are several different ways in which you can mine for cryptocurrency, but each of them requires a powerful computer, so mining on laptops is a no-go. CPU mining uses a computer process to mine cryptos. The only thing one needs is a PC and a few computer programs, but if you opt for this you'll also need to provide proper cooling for the computer device and a lot of power. GPU mining uses graphics cards to mine, just like those used in gaming computers. Special mining rigs have to be constructed for GPU mining and a single rig must contain a processor, a motherboard, cooling system, rig frame, and several graphics cards. Although this might be more difficult and costly to construct, this way of mining is less expensive than CPU mining. Cloud mining is possibly the simplest way to mine for cryptos. Miners rent a mining rig and the mining process from specialized companies and keep all the earnings the rented rig makes. Once a miner pays the company all the costs accrued in the mining process, the crypto coins are transferred to their crypto wallet. ASIC or application-specific integrated circuit mining is generally considered the best way to mine for cryptos, since it can produce various cryptocurrencies. This is a professional way of mining and individual miners can't do it by themselves. For individual miners, the best way to obtain new coins is to join a mining pool, which is a group of miners connected via a network with the purpose of sharing processing power, increasing their chances of obtaining coins, which are later shared among everyone in the pool. Another option for people mining from home is building a cryptocurrency farm, multiple rigs that are constantly mining for cryptos. But this takes up a lot of space and requires enormous amounts of energy, making the process very expensive. Another important thing to know before starting to mine for cryptos is that it's no longer advisable to mine for Bitcoin since the process is very difficult and expensive. But there are other cryptos miners can consider, such as Ethereum, Monero, Dogecoin, or other altcoins that are easier and less expensive to mine for. And last but not least, miners should check their country's laws and regulations regarding crypto mining. Some countries have imposed a ban on crypto mining and deemed it illegal. We hope that this video was useful for you. You can share your opinion in the comment section below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.